It was an incredible meeting in the middle of the Atlantic. Francois Gabard, the winner of the 2012 Vendée Globe, in a catamaran with associates from his Vela company and travelling between St. Bart and Concarneau, went to meet Charlie Dallin, his teammate in the Mayor Concept ocean racing team. Allez, champion! Dallin continues to lead the New York Vendée Le Sable de Lon in a moderate breeze and on the most direct route to the finish. In the middle of the chasing pack, the keelboat Imokas and a few foilers such as Nicola Lundven are making a detour around a windless zone to rejoin a group south of them. That includes Benjamin Dutro, Maxime Sorel, Roman Atanasio and Yannick Bestarven, who chose to pass to the north of the Azores, something that put Clarice Creme into a spin. You have to take the wisest option. I'm telling you the wisest option. You have to finish this race. We don't care about the rest. Basically, it needed a lot of intellect. Southern option, northern option, choose between two options. Should I risk it? I don't know, my brain is fried. Further south, the foilers enjoyed a fine reaching speed race below the Azores, before then facing heavy seas and a strong headwind of 35 to 40 knots for a few hours beyond the Straits of Gibraltar. It's just gone up to 26 knots and we're sailing close hauled. I didn't have a great night. I got sucked into a battle with Seb Simon. So Rouillard and Sam gave us a slip, but I've just found Sam again and I'm gonna try and film him for you. The Englishman on the attack. More than 2,000 kilometres to the north, Boris Herman jibed on Thursday morning to finally make his way towards the French coast. The first breeze, will you? He's tacking to take advantage of a chasing breeze and increased speed. Over the next few hours, the battle for second place behind Charlie Dallin is set to ramp up. Bah, bonjour à tous, c'est Sam. Je voulais juste euh, dire un merci beaucoup pour tous les messages de soutien. Euh, c'est pas le moment le plus facile ou le plus fun. Mais, euh, donc euh, d'avoir tous les messages qui, qui arrivent de partout, bah, ça fait chaud au cœur. Donc euh, merci beaucoup. J'imagine que vous avez vu qu'on a débatté. Bah, euh, donc, euh, on ne sait pas trop pourquoi encore. Euh, on fait chaque chaque chose en son temps et là l'équipe technique travaille sur des solutions à terre pour, pour les, les, les options logistiques et moi je travaille sur un carrément de fortune pour avancer un peu plus que, que de nœuds et euh, on vous donnera des nouvelles rapidement à bientôt merci encore ciao And um, the sea is quite flat, the sky is still uh, greyish in the sea as well. It's quite cold outside but with the sun here the inside warms up like a greenhouse, which is quite nice. I'm in a t-shirt because I just did a drive and I'm still warm. Uh, the starboard foil needs a bit of work on the training edge. It's, uh, making still the humming noise, but the port foil is already better. Um, yeah, so what does it say? Um, three days to the finish. And normally uh, a day and a half ahead of the South School. I can't really believe that, but that's what my Adrena says. So we will see at the end. Um, confident that uh, I can end up on the podium but we don't speak about that too much now uh, the race is never 
finished before it's finished. So full focus and concentrated sailing, trying to be to make no errors, uh, checking the boat, uh, trimming quite a bit, um, and also finding some rest. So that's uh, that's the situation here. The wind will increase, I will change the sails from the Big Janica to the Code Zero at one stage, probably in the next couple of hours. Um, and that should be it, that should be the last sail change to the finish. A big sail change though. I'm not sure yet if I do a peel or if I go bareheaded um, and take one sail down and then the other way up. I think that's what I'm gonna do to keep it simple and safe. Well, and I uh, can't wait um, to be tomorrow, like I would be already on a nicer angle and uh, yeah, I can't wait this, to see how this last three days evolve and this is really now a um, fast run to the finish and hopefully uh, Finish Sunday. The ETA was now a bit earlier, so that could be a good, good indicator for good timings on Sunday for the drinks. Uh, Sunday afternoon. All right. Cheers, guys. Talk to you tomorrow. Uh, just had a uh, text message through from my brother at home, uh, telling me that. Um, I'm up to six, <laughs> which is amazing. Um, I mean, they'll all come out of the wash. The funny thing is, I just overtook Boris, and Boris is 2,000 miles north of me. <laughs> uh, Charlie's looking really strong in the middle. Um, I think Boris has played a blind, though. I think if that comes together, he's going to fly down from the north to the finish. And then our little pack will will battle it out. Um, so we're chasing towards this low pressure. Plan is still to go through the centre of the, the low pressure, which is just to the east of the Azores. Um, and uh, at the moment, you know, we're starting to see the clouds in the sky. There's quite a lot of thermal mixing, which is creating unstable breeze which means the wind direction is changing and also the wind speeds are up and down which means there's quite a lot of work to keep Medallia on her toes and Medallia needs to stay on her toes because Justine is there always there um, but uh, yeah I'm trying to find a balance it's good practice because I need to sleep. I know there's a monster 24 hours coming ahead when <laughs> when we go through that low. So I need to be rested. But you know, there's a part of my brain that just every time my percentage polars drop, you know, I want to be out here. I want to be trimming. I want to. Burn. I still need to eat. I need to drink. I need to sleep. I need to download the weather. So just kind of at the moment, I'm trying to work out the right balance of regulation and try really hard not to exhaust myself in this bit. Um, so when the really tough bit comes up, um, things don't go well, but we'll see. Um, I just wanted to say a thank you for the lovely messages um, that my team have shared with me. Um, uh, your support. Um, means so much. Uh, I, it's great to share this with you. Um, this is just fantastic. Every, everything is fantastic. We're all having a great race. Thank you. Well, we've uh, reached officially the halfway mark of this race in terms of distance. Um, we've sailed uh, about 1,600 miles. What's amazing is that um, there's still um, about, well, around me, within 100 miles, over 10 competitors. So the race is still um, very much active and going and it's uh, close racing. The wind will now decrease. 
uh, we're approaching basically over the next couple of days the center of a high pressure system um, and then most likely we'll have to um, well, wait until the first outliers of the depression behind us catches up with us, which will then take us to the finish in France. So still many more days to sail, but all good out here. I'm enjoying it. Cheers. Bye-bye. Ça c'est mon thé, il y a des jus de poulet et euh, le sauté. Il y a son truc d'eau chaude. Il y a et comme ça je fais un fond. L'été est fait avec un petit peu de piment de bord.